All right, this tutorial is meant to show you how to make wires for your robot in Maya. So here I am in a brand new scene. I'm in my general workspace with my modeling menu set. I'm gonna go to curves and I'm gonna use the draw curve. So you'll see if I try to use this here that it draws it flat on the plane. What I want to do is draw this in front view so that I can be in control of my wire a little better. So here I am in front view. I'm going to draw from left to right. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw a basic wire shape. Okay, And then I'm going to do one more so I have couple of different wire shapes in the end. So now I have two curves. I come back in here, you can see that these two curves are completely flat in the third dimension, right? I just have those two. So I'm going to take this curve and slide it this way, take this curve, slide it this way. All right, so now I have these two curves. Next thing I want to do is take a cylinder and I'm gonna make it my wire so we want our radius to be really small our height can also be pretty small and I want to make sure that I start this cylinder at the same place I started drawing right so there I am, I am now here at the beginning of that wire. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate Move the other one over here and put that at the beginning of that wire. Okay, so two cylinders, two wires, First thing I want to do, the cylinder one is paired up with curve one, the cylinder two is paired up with curve two. I want to select the faces of my cylinder that I'm going to turn into my wire. So face mode, turn off that soft select. I'm going to hold down tab, holding down tab, and I'm going to grab all those faces all the way around. Hey. All right, grab all those faces all the way around. Did I get it that time? I did. All right, so I have that selected now. And then I'm gonna hold Command and select my curve. So you can see both those are now selected. Okay, I'm gonna show you that again. Faces, hold Command, select my curve. All right. I'm going to zoom out so we can see this happen. Here we are, edit mesh, and I want to use extrude. So when I do that, my menu pops up. Now, right now it's going directly from that face that I had selected to the end, and that is because our divisions are set to one. So there's no topology here to differentiate along this curve. So what I'm going to do is just run that number up. Now, 25 is the highest the slider will go, but it is not the highest the number will go. I can turn this into 50. I can turn this into 100, right? Whatever you need to make yourself a nice smooth wire. And then you can control how detailed this is, right? So if I then click off and look at it, Oh, it looks like it turned inside out. There we go. Did it turn inside out when I added too many faces? It did. There we go. All right, so this area, maybe that needs more faces. This area, maybe that needs fewer faces. So you can move faces from a section 
that doesn't need them to a section that does. Now, this is all still live. So if I select my curve, I'm gonna turn on X-ray so we can still see the curve even though it's in the center of the cylinder. Okay, there's my curve. I want to edit my curve and so I'm gonna switch to vertex select and I get all of these little pink control points. So what I can do with these control points is move them and that's going to change my wire. What you might want to do is actually use your soft select now because that's going to keep the smoothness of your wire. And you can see that I am still moving the cylinder, but it is being controlled by that curve, right? So that allows you to kind of contr control that wire after it's built. All right, once you're done, we can center our pivot, delete the history, and that cylinder is now its own separate object. We don't need the curve anymore. All right, so I'm gonna let you watch me do that again. There's my cylinder. I'm gonna focus on it. Face select, turn off soft select, hold down tab. All right, get all those faces at one time. Command select my curve. Extrude. Crank up those divisions. Make sure that we don't get any weird effects there. Looks good all the way down. So here, that is where it's starting to have issues, is right there. So if we take this back down to 50. an issue with my numbers then that'll start to keep that spread out okay so same deal you can still edit the curve if I select the curve turn on my control points I can move the curve around control the wire still until I select the wire delete history put that pivot point in the center all right that is how you can make a wire you can add Us. If you want to make like a nice clean way for your wire to get out of the inside of your robot out into the outside air, right? This makes a nice little port. Right? So we can see this on the outside of the robot. that and then you can merge those two objects together right and once you've got that done you can now import your wire into your robot scene and add it to your robot and that's how you can do it